Have you been asked to calculate straight line depreciation using Microsoft Excel, but you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to show you in today's video just how easy it can be. But first I wanna say, I believe something wonderful is about to happen for you. So be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. All right, we've got our Excel pulled up here and a particular problem is presented and we're gonna show how you can calculate straight line depreciation using Excel. Now, if you're not quite sure what um, straight line depreciation is and you've never heard of it, well, I've got a video that I've uh, posted up here in the corner. You can take a look at that and get a better idea of straight line depreciation. Today's focus will be more on the actual use of Excel. So in our example here on April 1st, ABC company purchases a machine for $305,000. The machine is expected to last five years. So this is important information here. I'm going to circle that too and have a salvage value of $54,000. So I circle that just because those are important numbers. Obviously, you don't need to circle them on Excel yourself. I'm just highlighting them for your edification here. So we're going to now compute the depreciation in a particular year. So I've taken those numbers and I've put them down here um, along with uh, the cells. So we've got the cost is 305,000. We have that it's estimated use of life is five years. We have a salvage value of $54,000. And because this will become useful later, I've got months in a year is 12. Um, obviously we all know there's 12 months in a year, but when we prepare the formula, it's gonna make it easier to work with because I like to use cell references in my formulas. That way you can adjust things very easily without having to rewrite the whole formula. So in this case, we've got all our information listed there. What is required? We're going to compute, we want to compute depreciation expense on or at December 31st for both the first year and the second year using the straight line method. Now, obviously there's more than one method to depreciate. There's double declining balance. There's, there's different ways you can do it. In this one, we're using the straight line method. And of course, what is, let's refresh our recollection. What is depreciation? Well, depreciation is the natural um, decline in value in a piece of equipment, or maybe it's in a, building, something like that, something that it loses value over time. And because we don't, for financial accounting purposes, we don't run out and get an estimate of its value. We don't have it appraised every year on December 31st. That would be too expensive to do. So we have conventions such as straight line depreciation, where we just agree that once we've arrived at what the salvage value would be, and that's what the expected value would be at the end of the useful life. And in this case, we say the useful life is five years. At the end of that useful life, we expect it to be worth, in this case, $54,000. And so we take the original purchase price and we amortize. In other words, we reduce the value of that piece of equipment each year, each year until we get to um, an equal amount and we reduce it each year until we get to the salvage value. So that's the idea behind depreciation. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in here using the formulas, but let's get some information in here that we could use. So one piece of information here is we need the months to depreciate in year one. What I mean by that, and what is meant by that is the first year this is purchased on April 1st. So we don't have the piece of equipment for the entire 12 months. It is not a full year of depreciation. It's only a partial depreciation. So we need to figure out how many years we depreciate it. 
and we're going to depreciate it for the entire, so let's figure this out. We're gonna do the entire month of April. That's one, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, because the entire month of December will depreciate and we're gonna figure out the de depreciation as of December 31st of that first year. That's nine months. So I'm gonna go ahead and put here nine because that is, uh, again, I like to use um, some um, cell references and it'll make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just to bring it closer. There we go. So we've got that. So let's do, first of all, let's do the annual straight line depreciation and let's assume it's for a 12 month year. So let's, that way we can at least see how the formula works and then we can modify it to figure out what the depreciation would be in the first year. Because the only year that it's going to be different is the first year and the last year. Because the last year we're going to be reaching that five-year point somewhere in before the end of the year. So that one will be different. But let's do this annual street line depreciation. So I'm going to go to this cell here. And I'm going to call up a formula. And there's actually a built-in formula for straight line depreciation right in Excel, which makes it easy. And as all formulas, we're gonna start out with an equal sign. Thank you for that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps with the channel and uh, it's getting the word out to as many people as we can. And now our depreciation formula is SLN. And you can see here that describes it. It says returns the straight line depreciation of an asset for one period. And in this case, the period is a year. So the SLN will tell us the amount of depreciation for one entire year. Now that's the first part of the formula. We go ahead and have an open parenthesis so we can put the items in there that we need. So the first item, as you can see highlighted, is cost. So the cost is 305000 and I'm going to go to that cell and click on it. And that takes that cell reference and puts it right into our formula. And to move on to the next entry, I hit the comma. And the next thing we need is the salvage value, which we know is $54,000. And again, I don't want to type it in there because I want to be able to adjust it if our numbers change. And I do that with cell references instead of having to adjust the formula. So I go to the cell with that salvage value in there, and that's B7, and I click on it, and that incorporates B7 there. And comma, the last item is the life, the number of years. Well, we know the useful life of this item is five years. So I click on that, and that gives us the five years, which is B6. We've entered everything into the formula. The only thing left to do is to close our parentheses, and everything's been entered. Now, we're ready to find out the answer for an annual straight line depreciation. I hit enter and that tells us it's $50,200 per year. So for the entire year, that would be for a full year, that's the amount of depreciation. So we know that that's the answer um, for a full year, but for our first year, we only have nine months. So how do we do that? Let's set that up where we need to take the full year depreciation and we multiply it by nine twelfths. So the easiest way to do that would be to take our full year depreciation. So let's go to our depreciation in the first year, uh, that column, and I'm going to hit the equal sign because I'm gonna have a formula here. And I wanna take this first amount and click on that to incorporate that over. And I'm going to multiply it. So I hit the star, which is multiplication. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to use parentheses. I don't believe they're necessary in this case, but I'm going to use them. Just anytime I'm multiplying or dividing anything, I wanna make sure I keep everything neat and organized. So I'm gonna use some parentheses there to keep it neat and organized. And our numerator, because we have nine out of 12 months, our numerator is here, the nine. 
and I'm going to divide by, so I do the slash, and it's 12 months, so our denominator is 12, and finally close off the parentheses, and we've got a full formula there, and I hit equal, and that tells us in that first year, we only have $34,650 of depreciation. Finally, the last thing it's asking for is the amount of depreciation in the second year, and that's going to be a full year of depreciation. So all I'm going to do, and again, I want to use a cell reference, and I don't have to retype the formula, so I'm going to type equal, and I'm going to reference that cell for the full year, and hit enter, and that gives us again the $50,000 and $200 as a amount of depreciation in the second year, because that's an entire year of depreciation. So I hope you found that helpful. That's all I've got for you today on this. If you want to help support the channel, I'm looking to get as many members as possible. If you go down in the information in the comments section, there is a link to become a member. You hit the join button and you can pick among a couple different levels of membership and the benefits of membership is there's I've got some private members only channel uh, videos also members get early access to my videos so if you're waiting for the next one to come out maybe you're in the middle of a class and you're looking for um, the next video to come out members get early access to those plus it's some of the higher levels uh, I will then from members they can suggest videos and I will get those videos done as soon as possible. They get priority on getting videos created for particular problems. And we do some live section, sessions together. So there's a lot of great reasons to become a member. But regardless, I would love for you to subscribe and I recommend you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.